Hello, everyone, and welcome back to The Frame. The comfort of road users is highly dependent on the state of the roads. Imagine driving on a highway and suddenly hitting a damaged portion of the road. Your car jerks and swerves, hopefully avoiding an accident. Of course, there's no pleasure in that kind of experience. But then, how can these damaged portions be repaired? In a way that minimizes the overall discomfort of road users and provides a better road experience. One such technique is the spray injection method. It is an innovative method of permanent patching that costs much less than the traditional method of removing and replacing the cold mixed patching. The repair process involves clearing potholes with high speed air pressure and ensuring a perfect seal with the use of cold bitumen. Bituminous aggregate coated at high speed air pressure is then used to cover the potholes and is immediately ready for use. This method involves less manpower, less equipment, no excavation, and no traffic diversion. And it's a permanent repair technique. Another technique is the throw and roll method, which involves filling the damaged portion with asphalt and compacting it before the road is open to users. The road portion is demarcated by cutting the edges of the damaged portion with a cutting machine and the surfaces can be moistened to ease the cutting process. Loose materials from the potholes are removed, and the potholes are cleaned and ready for repair. A tack coat is then applied to prevent water from entering the pothole, either from the edges or below, from a restabilizing base layer, usually made of stone, is spread and compacted. Tire coating is applied again to ensure the optimum adhesion of the cold asphalt to the stone base and prevent the ingress of water. Once the tack coat has matured on the surface, the asphalt is applied and properly compacted with a roller or a vibrating plate compactor. And the road is open to users in a matter of minutes. Instead of removing and discarding the original asphalt, a procedure known as infrared asphalt restoration allows the asphalt material to be recycled over the damaged area. The area around the damaged portion is thoroughly cleaned to guarantee that no dirt or moisture prevents the infrared from reaching the asphalt surface. The infrared machine warms the area to a required malleable temperature before removing loose materials and failed asphalt aggregate. A new layer of asphalt is added to the correct grade level, and a vibrating compactor or a roller is used to compact the surface. This technique is very effective, can be done all year round, irrespective of the weather and the road can be open to traffic almost immediately. Another efficient technique in road repair is the use of concrete pavement, which typically lasts longer than asphaltic roads. A well-prepared and fully compacted subgrade is essential to prevent differential settlement and cracking of pavement. Depending on the strength of the subgrade, a sub-base can be used to improve the strength of the layers underneath the concrete pavement. The concrete is mixed to specification and spread over the sub-base with the use of a concrete paver. Steel reinforcement can be used in the concrete if the road is subjected to high point loads and prevents cracks. The concrete is compacted to specification and is cured with appropriate moisture and temperature to achieve the desired concrete strength. 
The road can be open to traffic only after the curing process. However, making a good road from the soil with poor characteristics is often necessary. This can be done with stabilization techniques to improve the condition of the road. The use of polymer road stabilization products to improve soil durability is a common choice. A typical stabilization process involves loading a distributor truck with a uniform mixture of the stabilization product. The stabilization product is then fed into a reclaimer, which moves through the soil, injecting the product into the soil with a milling head. Dedicated inspectors inspect the soil frequently to ensure conformity with specifications and quality assurance. The road is initially graded and compacted, and the process is repeated with a grater and a steel drum compactor. After spraying a uniform seal over the top of the stabilized road, it is ready for more traditional road surfaces such as asphalt, which can begin immediately. The advantages of road stabilization include increased strength, dust control, and waterproofing. Stabilized roads are stronger, more resilient, and more flexible than conventional roads, remaining stable in all weather conditions. In addition, the abundance of plastic waste can be utilized in the road construction industry along with bitumen to provide flexible pavements. Bitumen is a primary material used in the construction of flexible pavements and its properties, such as water resistance and stability, can be improved by incorporating an appropriate plastic mix. Plastic bituminous materials have several other advantages compared to conventional bitumen. They give better results and road performance, improve the strength of the roads, increase road smoothness, increase the service life, and contribute to an eco-friendly environment, while reducing the cost of the entire project. The addition of plastic waste also improves the abrasion and slip resistance of flexible pavements. Road rehabilitation and construction is a stepwise process, and surveying is the fundamental process that precedes site preparation. Drones can be used in construction to greatly simplify that surveying process and eliminate the risks associated with human labor. Drones provide a safe and efficient aerial survey to visualize damaged road segments and identify potential high-risk areas before stepping onto the site. The data from the drone can be used to determine the excavation and haulage routes, the project's speed, and the project's overall feasibility. Road transportation remains one of the most common forms of mobility, which is widely available to the large populace and is frequently repaired to improve user experience and reduce or eliminate road-related accidents. As such an important sector of human civilization, the road construction industry will keep growing, and the market value, which surpassed $100 billion in 2021, is expected to reach $148 billion by 2025. Indeed, the improvements from manual labor to the use of various technologies are an indication that the special techniques for repairing roads in minutes will continue to evolve in the years to come. That's the end of this feature from The Frame. Hope you enjoyed it! Please subscribe to the channel to catch us on our next video. See ya!